Hello, my name is David Abel. I live in Rhode Island and I'm a hard of hearing person. I've had to use hearing aids for 25 years. I'm also uh, an advocate for hearing loops for the Hearing Loss Association of America here in Rhode Island. I'm a former member of the Commission for Deaf and Hard of Hearing in Rhode Island, and I maintain a list of those hearing loops in the state. Ernest Covington has asked me to uh, give you my impressions of the Americans for Disabilities Act on the 30th anniversary of that act. It's been a tremendous boon to people with disabilities, including those of us who are hard of hearing. I became familiar with the uh, Americans with Disabilities Act when I was advocating for hearing loops uh, because it requires uh, institutions to make accommodations for people with disabilities, including hearing loss. So as I attended various events throughout the state, uh, in my church and in uh, theaters, uh, lecture halls, and also all sorts of government facilities, I discovered that it was fairly easy to ask for an accommodation, which is what uh, we are entitled to under the Americans for Disabilities Act. And uh, generally, most places were familiar with it. Uh, so I began to ask and receive that accommodation in the form of uh, uh, <clears throat> headsets and uh, hearing assistive equipment so that I could hear better. And it was also helpful to me in advocating for hearing loops because I was able to extract a portion of the regulations uh, put out by the Department of Justice in 2012 and handed that to several places that uh, weren't interested in hearing loops. And in several cases, uh, they paid attention and some hearing loops have been installed as a result. So uh, the act has been very helpful and I hope that it continues. It's uh, something of benefit to all of us with disabilities and including those of us who are hard of hearing. Thank you for listening.